Looking back on the season, I am extremely happy with how the 2013 Nautilus season has, has gone. Um, we had more dives this year than ever before, more time underwater, and you're not going to find anything if you're not down there looking. Um, more educators coming on board with us, more students coming on board with us. Um, our media and production side of the house really launched and blossomed this year with Exploration Now, doing about 1,700 shows over the course of the field season to primarily our museum and aquarium partners, but also schools, after-school programs, um, and, and a lot of our partner organizations. So overall, I'm extremely pleased with how things have gone. Monolith, having worked with it since, since the beginning for the past five years, um, it's really grown and I'm really excited to launch um, the 2014 season again in the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea. Well, the EcoGig cruise um, is part of a long time series of going back to the same site to see how the Deepwater Horizon oil spill impacts the biology, the, the animals that live around the site. Um, Eric Cordes, the chief scientist of that cruise, was just blown away with the imagery. He's been there year after year after year, um, and, but never has seen that, that bigger picture. So we're really excited to be able to bring that, um, that different perspective to the scientists and to uh, continue working with them. The shipwreck leg went to um, a wreck from the probably early 1800s uh, that was discovered last summer on the Okeanos Explorer, but at the time they weren't able to pick up any of the artifacts to be able to study them in more detail. So we were able to work with NOAA, with the uh, Texas State University, to go back and be able to recover some of the artifacts and to learn more about the history, um, figure out where this wreck came from, what it was doing. It was, it was heavily armed. There were guns on board, navigation tools, and archaeology, by its very nature, is destructive science. There's no way that you can put everything back um, to its original state. So being able to record in very um, high resolution, high detail, is, is really important for, for reconstructing the site and, and the history of it. One evening, the very last evening of the cruise, I was logged in watching Nautilus Live and super excited. We found a brand new shipwreck. Um, they were targets that had been known but had never been looked at before. We found um, one more wreck that, that very last night and then I got into work the next morning and they were on shipwreck number three. So <laughs> I guess I should have stayed up a little bit later. So hang with us here on Nautilus Live. You are watching us explore this shipwreck. And it is one that no one else has ever seen before, so you're seeing it for the first time right alongside us. We're hoping to um, get back to the other two and potentially start excavating those other two shipwrecks as well. The Cayman, Cayman Rise area um, is a transform fault, but it's a leaky transform fault. So in the very, very deep water where we actually can't get to, there's, there's active plate, um, plates spreading apart. And off of that, on, on a higher area just, just nearby, is very active hydrothermal venting. So the Nautilus cruise was actually one in a series this year that was returning to it and doing, doing a lot of different types of work. Um, but in addition to that, we were also checking out some other areas where nobody had ever dived before to see if we could find other areas of hydrothermal venting. Now, we didn't see any, but some of our chemical sensors picked up, um, picked up signals that indicate that there might be some hydrothermal activity in the area, so um, it, it does give a little bit of encouragement that there might be some activity in the area. We just didn't happen to go to that, that one particular spot to be able to find it this year, so more work for the future. Puerto Rico was an incredible cruise, both from a uh, scientific perspective, unbelievable geology and biology um, was discovered there, but also um, just the pure engagement of, of Puerto Rico itself and, and the people that live there. We had thousands and thousands of people writing in, um, Puerto Rican scientists on board who were um, speaking in Spanish and able to really engage the people of Puerto Rico in the expedition and, and um, really bring them in. It was very, very exciting and probably the most successful um, cruise leg of this year from that perspective. Off Dominica um, is the largest underwater landslide deposit in the Caribbean. We don't know what, um, when it happened, 
if it's related to any sort of volcanic event, so we decided to, to dive on it, and what we found was that it's probably quite old, and you weren't able to see any outcrops or any of the, the stratigraphy of these, of these big volcanic blocks. So, um, unfortunately, we, we weren't able to see that, but it does indicate that it's probably much older than, than we thought previously. But that's science. I mean, you see something, you have a hypothesis, you look closer, and then maybe it's not. It is or it isn't. We spent about two and a half weeks at Kickham Jenny, and when we got down there, we found that at the very um, furthest, most distal end of the landslide deposit, we found a huge abundance of life. So areas where probably methane is being squeezed out of the seafloor, and there is an unbelievable number of different animals living on it. So a whole ecosystem going on down there that we totally didn't expect. It was really, really exciting to find in the last few days of the cruise. You know, this this is uh, I would I'll I'll venture to say uh, this is uh, longer than the ones we caught in '77 in the first clams coming out of the, the lava was ripped. Now this is not a clam. This is a, a mussel. We also had mussels in '77, but they were far far smaller than that. Plus here we have several year classes, which means that it's been on a while. So we're going to go back and collect more. But we have quite a number of different generations of this guy. So that's really. Cool. Kickham Jenny is still considered an active volcano, and even though the temperature has been decreasing over the last um, 10 years, or right now it appears to be sort of asleep, but it could certainly wake up again and, and erupt. It's a very long season, it's a lot of hard work for a lot of people, but all in all it was the most successful season we've had so far. We have more people engaged and involved with our expeditions than ever before, um, both from the public and from scientists who are interested in what we're doing and being involved with, um, with the science, with the sample processing, um, and the, the most number of discoveries that we still are processing and, and trying to understand. Um, so all in all, an incredibly successful um, season. There are all sorts of trials and tribulations that, that go on from a broken rudder bearing at the beginning of the season to you know just making sure all the equipment is up and running 24 hours a day, every day. So um, a huge congratulations to the Nautilus team, um, both at sea and ashore, to make such a successful season happen for 2013.